The modules for each course topic have the same structure for consistency and for improved organization. This video provides an overview of that structure. Each module includes a checklist which shows which deliverables are due before class and which are due after. This is helpful because when students look at a weekly course schedule, it may not be clear when deliverables are due. Further, some deliverables are not associated with a Brightspace activity, such as readings uh, or milestones within a semester-long project. Making those deliverables a checklist item is an easy way to associate a due date with them. The due date then appears in the student's newsfeed and calendar. A learning outcomes page identifies the student's goals in studying the module. Here too, the Brightspace template is used in combination with a stock photo and a checklist making the page visually engaging. Keep an eye out for stock photos that portray diversity, as these are hard to come by, including diversity of gender, ancestry, ethnic origin, and abilities. The next page is the assigned readings for the module. Here, we see a more complex template, including a high-level overview, an explanation of the relevance of each chapter, and a reminder for students to complete the module quiz to reinforce what they learned in the readings. It's worth noting that when I copied over the text from Blackboard into Brightspace, I used Control, Shift, and V keys to paste plain text only, without formatting. This preserved the Brightspace default formatting and font. This may help in maintaining accessibility and ensuring the content is viewable on most devices. The next item is the module quiz. To save time, I simply imported the question pools from Blackboard. I then created the quizzes using random question sets from those imported pools. In the 2018 master course, the quiz questions aligned with the readings and were comparable or similar to the questions in the exams. This ensured that the quizzes were formative and students could practice the quizzes and review their answers and feedback in order to prepare for the summative exams. In both the quizzes and exams, the questions were drafted with a two to four choices and followed multiple choice best practices. For midterms and final exams, I often uh, check the reliability of the questions using LERTAP. I find this is very useful in improving my multiple choice question drafting. The next item is the set of basic slides. These are less detailed and use a basic theme so that the PowerPoint slides display properly in the Brightspace Previewer. Another solution to ensure compatibility with the Previewer is to upload your slides in PDF, portable document format. Although this video relates to the 2018 master course, here's a quick additional feature from fall 2019. I posted my detailed slides, which I presented in class, but they are conditionally released only when students complete that module's quiz with at least a 60% score. This makes the detailed slide content available to students for studying, and incense online engagement. Each module also includes some optional content. Embedded YouTube videos are well received. Another example is deep links to the flashcard and matching activities in the textbook's online content. Students have the option of associating their Brightspace account with the online textbook account. This cuts down on account fatigue and they can access activities at any time during the semester without separately signing into the publisher's account. The deep links also help create a curated learning experience for the students.